In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare an interior rotating view camera using the keyframing technique. So first of all, in the top view here, we are going to go to create cameras and create a target camera. So we're going to click from here, looking to this way. And we're going to change the stock lenses to 20mm so that it creates a wide enough view of the interior view. While leaving the camera selected, we are going to right click to activate the top right hand corner viewport here. And we are going to press the key C. Notice down here, The camera will be looking almost as if it's in the ground plane. So again, it is in the wrong elevation here. As you can see, it is actually very near the floor plane. So what we need to do would be, we need to select the camera and the target using the move command here. And we will right click on the move command to call out the move transform type in and under the offset screen coordinates we will key in 1500 enter and that will give us a perspective based on an average human height and once we're done we can now adjust the target a little bit and we need to make sure we are standing at the corner of an interior space but we need to be careful not to go too deep to the point it goes into the wall notice here when i drag this it becomes going into the wall itself and that's going to pose a bit of a problem this is a common mistake committed by new users all right so we need to make sure we are in the interior but not behind the wall or else the rendering will take a very very long time later and it will render wrongly so we need to make sure it is at the corner here this way all right and we can click and move the target around to see the interior spaces a rough gauge of this all right like that and once this is in place we can position it at the start point here and we are going to activate the auto key and click on set key and we can now begin to drag the time bar to say about 50 and we can now position the camera to its halfway point somewhere here and we can drag it all the way to the end point and we can drag the target to its end destination here. So let's do a preview and take a look after we turn off the auto key and then we can do a preview here this way. You will now notice that the camera begins to pan inside the interior. Okay.